So, you know, I'm a pretty busy person. There's stuff I could be doing. There's stuff I should be doing. But I put all of that on hold to bring you all the black thunder. Isn't it divine? Um, so I spoke about the original one in my last video. That's this one. Um, but they sometimes come up out with um, limited edition flavors. So I thought I'd like to introduce the ones that are currently on the market. Uh, so first we have this one, which is Black Thunder Gold. And it's supposed to have bigger chocolate chunks. So we'll compare that to the original one a bit later. And then we have uh, Big Thunder 2, Flavor of the Future, an overwhelming taste, rough and crunchy, Black Giant Thunder God, Episode 2. So I haven't actually had this one yet, but big, big expectations for that. So let's see. And then my personal favorite, top of the top, creme de la creme, Black Thunder ice cream. Um, yeah. So for some reason, you can only get this at 7-Eleven convenience stores. And I haven't seen it for, for quite a while. So I was kind of worried that they discontinued it. But I found it. And I would have filmed this video sooner. But I bought one and actually ate it on the way home. So I had to go buy another one. But here it is. Okay, so here I've got the original Black Thunder. And then the Black Thunder Gold. And you can kind of see just by looking at them, like, straight out the package, you can see a bit of difference. This one, the chocolate is a bit thicker. It's supposed to be richer. So I guess, you know, that's what they're going for. So if we break it in half, you know, that's the original one with the cookies we saw last time. And now the Black Thunder Gold. Let's, let's compare. Do you see the difference? This is oh, let's put that there. Okay. This is the Black Thunder original Black Thunder Gold. I don't know. Looking at it like that, it doesn't seem that different. But let's taste. <laughs> so good. Mm. Just the original is so good. Let's, let's see if there's a difference with the gold. Mm. It's so good. Well, oh my word. Oh my word, that is good. Oh wow. Oh my word. It's so good. I just, I need a moment. <laughs> okay, so I literally did take a moment, um, and I've recollected myself. Uh, it is really good. I The chocolate, there's definitely, like, thicker chocolate. I think the chocolate's also a bit darker. There's, like, a, a slight bitterness of the dark chocolate with that cookie center, and it's just is a great combination and it is so good so good okay so now i think i'm going to move on to the big thunder 2 so this is how it looks when you take it out of the packaging which is kind of interesting it looks like a grate at the moment but let's see what it's like so it's also got the the cookie center i don't really see the the like it kind of looks like there's cereal or cornflakes in here, but I don't really see it looking at it like that. But I guess nothing to do but try it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely crispier than the normal one. I think... I think the cereal bits are maybe in this, like the bottom part of it. It is definitely a bit more crunchy. It's almost got like a, a honey glazed 
caramel kind of flavor going very good definitely mm. it's good I kind of want to break it up and put it over some um, vanilla ice cream that would just be awesome because I love ice cream dun, dun, dun. moving on swiftly um, so yeah, you, if you take out the package, this is what it looks like. You can already see like the little cookie bits and everything that's embedded in there. Just look at that beautiful, beautiful ice cream. It started melting because I had it it's like just sitting here waiting while I was filming the beginning of the video but it's just an excuse for me to eat it right away so oh it really is melting but you can see the the crunchy goodness going on there and it's it's really divine. Hmm. I'll, I'll be back. So in the end I had ice cream dripping everywhere, but it was worth it. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> I mean, they were all amazing. I think the original one is really like light and crispy it's got you know like a thin layer of chocolate then um the chocolate um cookie inside and the i want to say it's shortbread but it's i guess it's like shortbread or maybe like a rice puff kind of thing in the middle so really good and i feel like you can just keep eating it just have more and more um which is dangerous but you can buy smaller ones uh, like this is the size that I use today but you can actually get a pack filled with smaller ones and but I feel like you'd end up eating all of them anyway so in order to control myself I get this one and then with the black thunder gold which was also really good um, definitely um, a bit more rich and just with the, the bitter chocolate it's just it was really delicious and um, I, I wouldn't be able to have a ton of this like you'd end up feeling a bit sick but just because it's so rich um, but it was really good it was actually better than what I was expecting because I've had um, another limited edition one where they had like extra um, rice puffs and like that one was okay but this one I was quite impressed and then the Big Thunder episode 2 um, with the cornflakes in or whatever it's supposed to be uh, that was also, I was actually, I was pretty impressed. Um, it's like a slightly different experience to the original Black Thunder, but good non nonetheless. And of course, <laughs> the ice cream was amazing. So I realized that for those of you who are outside of Japan, you wouldn't really be able to experience the Black Thunder ice cream. But if you subscribe to our monthly box and you receive some Black Thunder chocolate, you could always take that and crumble it up over some chocolate ice cream and enjoy it like that. Or maybe take some Oreo cookies and some shortbread or um, rice puffs, crumble that up over some chocolate ice cream and then pour some melted chocolate on top. So <laughs> that's my do-it-yourself Black Thunder ice cream. You're welcome. <laughs> um... I feel like I didn't really say much other than it's good and it's delicious, but it's all true. Um, but yeah, um, anything in the Black Thunder series is really good. So if you're in Japan, um, I hope that you get a chance to try it. You should definitely go out and look for it. And if you're not in Japan, then please subscribe to our monthly box and we'll try and send you some. Yeah, that's it for this time. But if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see some more um 
Japanese snack reviews, and I'll see you soon. Bye.